everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page. I'm back home. Today I'm going to be doing the booktube newbie tag. I was talking to Christine over at Turning Pages 52 um, and she said I should do this as did Catherine Lyle. Well Catherine Lyle was the one who first suggested it and so hey and so I guess them saying that was the push I kind of needed to do it. So this is because of them and I will link both of their channels down below. And now to get started. So question one is why did you start your channel? Mostly to have another place or a place to talk about books because since I graduated college and I moved back home and I don't live with my friends anymore, um, I don't really have a lot of people who read the same books as I do and that I see consistently enough that we can talk about it. Like I do still a little but it's just another way to connect with people who, hi Wally, who love the books I do, um, or love books in general, and love talking about them. Question number two are what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to book two? My face? I honestly have no idea. Um, I'm still pretty new-ish. I mean, I've been on here since October, so not that new. It's five months. So not really actually new at all, but, or newer, but I'm, I'm still kind of like learning the ropes. So I haven't really tried anything new, haven't come up with anything my own things. I mean, I could say the content I talk about, since I do talk about mi mostly fantasy that has an LGBTQIA um, main character or representation in it. But even that, like there are other booktubers, I'm not saying by any means I'm the only one. There are many other booktubers, I mean off the top of my head, there's Adrian over at Perpetual Pages, Cece at Problems of a Book Nerd, Matthew from Matthew Sharapa, are definitely some who talk about the same stuff I do, so it's not to say that I'm the only one, but I guess just to get more voices talking about them. Question number three is what are you most excited about with this new channel? Talking about books, getting, getting, actually, since I've been here for a little bit now, getting to read books I had no idea about. Like, cause I mean, I do search, I do like Google searches. If I like this author, who should I read next type of things. But some of the books I have just recently read have been recommended to me, well have been recommended because of booktube and they're absolutely phenomenal. And like some of them I didn't even know about had were nowhere on my awareness. And so it's just, that I guess is what I'm most excited about is finding more books that I like because um, I was kind of in a rut for a while because I wasn't finding anything I was enjoying. Another thing I'm about, I know it says the most excited but eh, I can talk what I, about what I want to, is I guess editing videos. I was into photography a while ago and I really loved editing the photos and so that's something I'm kind of interested to learn more about is video, video editing and kind of how that correlates. I mean it's kind of been hit or miss for me right now but I'm kind of excited to learn more about that. Question number four is why do you love reading? Why does anyone love reading? I mean, it's it's magical. It's It takes you different places, different lives. Whether or not you're reading fiction, nonfiction, genre, like no matter what you're reading, like it does put you in a different situation and it teaches you different things. And that's, I, I love that about it. Like no, you, no matter where you're going is you're learning new things and you're seeing things from a different perspective. And I just, I find it absolutely amazing to be able to read. Question number five is what book or series got you into reading? I talked about this a little in one of my other videos. I think it's like the five books to get to know me or whatever. But to the Immortal series by Tamora Pierce is really what got me, kind of kicked me off into reading. Because I was, at the time I was trying to read a lot of the things other people, like my age were reading. So like the Babysitter's Club and I think there was like a... Uh, Pony Pals or there's like some animal club one. I can't remember what it's called now, but it was something pals and it pet pals maybe. I don't know. And I mean, there was nothing wrong with them whatsoever. They just weren't really my thing and I wasn't really that interested in them. And then I picked up the immortals and that kind of, I kind of just like rocketed off into reading anything I could get my hands on for a while. Question number six is what questions would you ask your favorite booktuber? I have quite a few favorite booktubers. I've named some of them already. I'll just do a quick count off my fingers. So there's Matthew at Matthew Sharapa, Adrian at Perpetual Pages, 
Christine at Training Pages 52, and Catherine over at Literary Prints, just to name a few. Um, I guess some of the things I'd ask them is like, where do they come, to, come up with some of the ideas for their videos? Because some of them are really fun and interesting and in how they do their editing. Um, Literary Prints especially, her editing is phenomenal. Like it just, it's so good. I can't, I can only ever aspire. I don't, like if I would ever get that good, I could, couldn't imagine. Question number seven is what challenges with starting a booktube channel do you think the hardest will be to overcome? Honestly, is filling, f filming, I guess consistently enough so I'm not going like weeks or months between videos, not to say if you need a break that's a bad thing, I'm just like I don't want to post one video, then wait three months and then post another video just because then I would barely ever be on here. Um, another thing I'm finding really hard is writing reviews for books right now. I'm, it's not that I'm not reading, it's just I'm not putting my thoughts down in a way that I can, it's easy for me to then talk about on camera and I'm trying not to be a rambling mess when I do my videos. So trying to get them down in a way that is easy to format into a concise thought, I guess, is one thing I'm definitely having trouble with and I'm trying to get better at, but it's kind of slow going. Well, until the next video, ta-ta for now.